This simple but effective video, I'm gonna get you from doing this. Oh man, what do I do? To launch missiles on targets by using the FCR. So let's get this out of the way right off the bat. For you to be able to use the FCR and its missiles, you'll need to have an FCR on your aircraft and you'll need to equip the Lima model Hellfires. So first thing I'll cover will be the controls for both the front and back seat. Also, I'll put a timestamp in the chapters for those that want to skip ahead. So first thing, we're going to go to adjust controls. We're going to do the pilot first, so make sure you have the pilot role selected. Then we're going to search FCR. Map all the FCR scan size switches. This is how you select the field of view that your radar scans. Map both the scan switches. This is how your radar scans the area. And then map the site select switch FCR left. This is how you're going to prioritize the FCR. So think of this as like you're sewing the radar. Next will be the weapon action switch M right. This is so you can select your Hellfire missile. Next will be the weapon trigger second detent so you can fire your weapon system. Next will be cursor enter depress so you can select objects with the cursor. Next go to the axis assign page and assign the Hocast X and Y axis that way you guys can slew the cursor around. I'll show you my axis real quick, my tunes, if you want to use that as a reference. All right, next will be the front seat. So select the CPG roll and same thing, search FCR. All right, map all the right hand grip FCR scan side switches. Map both the left hand grip FCR scan switches. Map the right hand grip site select switch FCR. Map the left hand grip weapon action switch M to select your Hellfire missile. Map the left hand grip weapon trigger second detent, that way you can fire your weapon system. Then map the left hand grip cursor enter trigger, that way you can select stuff with the cursor. And then finally, go to your access assign page and map your Hellcast cursor X and Y axis. I'm running the same tunes as before if you want to use those as well. This will be a quick session of the video. I know there's people out there that say they can't find an Apache with an FCR and multiplayer. Unfortunately, as of right now, we don't have the option to override the mission maker's decisions. So maybe go find a different server. Uh, but there will be an update coming in two weeks where the FCR will be placeable through the rearm menu. But for real, they are going to plan on doing that. I also know a lot of people play single player and say they can't find the option in the mission editor. So here it is. So go to the three dots and right here it says click it. That's all you do. And then to equip the Hellfire missiles with radar guidance it will be the Lima models. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to power on the FCR. It's a pretty quick process. You can do it while on the ground or while in the air. Both seats could do it. The only difference is the back seat has to turn on the APU and the uh, master battery switch. All right, so first step is make sure we have an FCR on board, which we do. You can do it by F2. It's that big dome on top of the rotor blades, that heavy mass that likes to tip over the aircraft in a windstorm. All right, so first thing we gotta do, we gotta power on. Well, second thing now, we gotta power on the aircraft. So master battery. And then APU, so once we click APU, it takes roughly 15 seconds for the aircraft to power up, so I'll see you after 15 seconds. Okay, so now our aircraft has power, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to bore side our IHADs, that way we don't have to do it later, because the FCR wants you to bore side it. So IHADs, bore sight. Good enough for me for this video. Alright, get rid of the IHADs. All right, there's two methods to powering on the FCR. I'm going to show you the easiest method. So click FCR, it says it's not powered. Go to utility, change MMA from pin to normal by just clicking the button. All right, bit test is now in progress. It's take roughly a minute, but we can overwrite it and have it instantly turned on, which you can tell because the FCR is now solid. If you click on FCR, we have the radar display, which means FCR is on. If we want to turn it off for whatever reason, just Click FCR right here, and now it's hollow, and FCR is not powered. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to do it from the air, just for another example. All right, so now we're in the air. I'm in the front seat, giving you guys a different perspective. So just to power on the FCR, we're going to use a simple method by clicking FCR. It says it's not powered, so go to utility, change MMA from pin to normal. Bit progress, but we're going to overwrite it. FCR is solid, so it's turned on, and... FCR radar is displayed. Hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you on the next portion of this video. All right, so now I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the FCR page. Again, this is pretty much identical on both seats. I'm just showing it from the back seat right now because I know a majority of players are going to be lone wolfing in the Apache. Also, as of right now, C-Scope and Zoom are not functioning as I recorded this video, but when I get to them, I'll explain what they do for future viewers. 
All right, so if you just click on the SCR page, it will display, but you can't do anything with it because the pilot helmet mount display is selected. So what we have to do is use your site select switch FCR to actually take control, which we ha have now, as you can tell right here. And on the TSD, we have the FCR surge area displayed. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the top, work my way towards the bottom. So first we have the C-scope, which right now is not functional, but what it will do, it will let you slew your TAS to lock the FCR target. Next is the utility page, which I'll go over more here in a little bit. And then we have the heading tape, which also shows the FCR's orientation. All right, next is the zoom function, which right now is not functional, but what it will do, it will let you zoom in six time magnification. That way you can pick out individual targets and a cluster of targets. Then we have both left and right arrows, which allows you to slew the radar one scan width left or right. So as you can see on the TSD, it's scanning to the left and our symbology right there, FCR symbology on the heading tape. Then we have our FCR's radar cone in the middle. This is the top-down view of the battlefield. This is where all the action happens. If you know what a range card is, think of this as a high-speed range card. Also, each ring is two kilometers with eight kilometers total. Just a reminder that one nautical mile is roughly half a kilometer. So if you're using the F-10 map to range a target, that's say, roughly three kilometer or three nautical miles away, that's gonna be five and a half kilometers, which is almost, yeah, this is over half your FCR's scan range. All right, next is elevation. This is gonna be the antenna's elevation up or down. By default, it's set to auto. I'll just leave it in auto and let the system do its own thing. You can manually point it down or up if you want, but there's no real reason unless you're unmasking the SCR and you're trying to look down the hill or something. But if you wanna manually move it, you just click on the elevation and then up and down arrows. And you can see where the orientation is on the scale. If you wanna put it back in auto, just go to utility, and then select the elevation, click it, it goes back to auto. All right, next will be the acquisition source. So this is going to be the source that your radar is going to be slave to, so the pilot's head, gunner's head, whatnot. All right, then we're going to go to utility, and we're going to go talk about schemes. All right, so what schemes are, it's pretty much the FCR's default priority or target priority list. Uh, so it will still show the targets no matter what scheme you're using, but by default it's set to A. So scheme A, this sets the stationary ground targets as a priority, and airborne targets will get prioritized above all other targets. Scheme B only prioritizes stationary targets, and then Scheme C prioritizes moving targets. So again, if you're using Scheme A, you can still see moving targets. If you're using Scheme C, you can see stationary targets and whatnot. I just leave mine in A, and then I manually just select something if I want to do priority. Or if you're in a different flight, and like say, you're gonna look for stationary targets, and then your wingman's looking for moving targets, that's another scenario that, that'll be helpful. Okay, so now we're going to go over target symbology on the SCR page. So now I'm going to scan the battlefield using a continuous scan. Okay, now we have some target symbology on both the SCR page and the TSD. I'm going to place the image up real quick if you guys want to take notes or take a screenshot of it. The thing that looks like an H is going to be a track vehicle, so possibly a tank. A circle is going to be a wheel vehicle like a Humvee. The triangle is going to be an aerial defense unit like an SA-9, so a SAM. Square is unknown, but I also seen a Squares be ZU-23, so I thought that was an aerial defense unit. A bow tie is an aircraft. The symbol is hollow, that means it is stationary. If the symbol is full and has a black square in the middle, that means the target is moving. Then we have our priority symbology as well. The diamond around the target is the current target we have locked up and it's the highest priority. If the diamond is dashed, that means we need to arm the, uh, arm the aircraft or we need a waza hellfire, so I'll do that right now. Now it's solid, so it's good to go. And our Hellfire constraint box is solid, so we have a good line of sight. All right, the upside down triangle is the next to shoot, which is the next highest priority, and the FCR will automatically continue down the cycle of the priority list from highest to lowest. And speaking of next to shoot, we have the next to shoot option right here. If we don't want to do that, say, want the next to shoot to be a tank or something, just click on this. As you see, it's automatically switching. Or you can do it with the cursor and highlight it. All right, now we're going to go over target real quick. So let me go put this in coordinate page and select target. So what this does, is going to let you use the cursor and highlight something that way you can store the target. So first target is going to be target zero one. And I'm going to let's store the ADU right here. And now it's in the coordinate page and let's store this tank. And then let's store this wheel vehicle. And then if you click out of that and say you re-click it, your next target will be target 04, or if you did something else, will be the next target. So what you'll use that for is to uh, slave the tabs to it, get PID on it, or say, 
Uh, we're gonna shoot this ADU real quick. And shoot. Alright, if you notice there is an X now, that's gonna be our shoot Q. So that doesn't necessarily mean the target is dead, that's just means you shot at it. Sometimes the targets don't die because Hellfire is gonna do their own thing. Alright, but that was target one. So now if we go to the front seat. And let's say coordinate page. Target one. And I'm gonna was tad. Oops. Add that. Zoom in. You can see that is dead. So for the final portion, I'm gonna do a quick little engagement to show you how I would do it while using the FCR. So I'm in my hasty fighting position. The objective area is the waypoint in front of us, which is 5K away. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my site select switch to FCR. I'm gonna do a single scan burst to recon the area in front of us. All right, so nothing came back. So right now I gotta gain some altitude to unmask the FCR. That way it has a clear line of sight of the objective area. So let's go to about 15 to 20 feet. Okay, so now I'm going to scan. Alright, now I'm going to come back down real quick. Okay, uncover my eye hads. I'm going to pause the game real quick. That way I can do just a quick breakdown and give you guys my thought process on how I'm going to do this engagement. So I personally do single scans. So my first scan is to recon the area, see what the targets are, see if anything is moving, make a quick little battle plan off of that. Then I'm going to plan how I'll attack the target, if I'm going to select my own targets, or if I'm going to let the FCR do its own thing. Uh, once I have a plan, I'm going to do one or two more scans just to confirm things are where they should be, and then I'm going to do my attack. Uh, the only time I do a continuous scan is if I'm actively engaging in moving targets, as in convoys or mobile SAMs, just for a couple examples. So why do I prefer single scans over a continuous scan? Uh, so the FCR is still a radar system, so every time you turn it on, you're pretty much showing the enemy where you are if they have the ability to track a radar emission. So the less I scan, the harder it is for a possible enemy to see me broadcast my position. Okay, so let's do a quick breakdown from this recon scan. So we have six targets in the area. Our priority target is the ADU, which is five kilometers away. Uh, secondary, so next to shoot, is gonna be a track vehicle. Then two wood vehicles, an unknown, that's all stationary, and then we have a moving target. Uh, so priority is going to be the ADU, and then the track vehicle, and then I'm going to assume it's going to go stationary, 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 because it is scheme alpha, yep. And then it's going to go wheeled vehicle. If it doesn't do that for some reason, that's the order I'm going to go to. So now I'm going to gain altitude, rescan it, and then we're going to do the engagement. So unpause, hi hats on. Let's get to you about 20 feet. Get the nose on. Scan. Okay, so now we have aircraft. Do one more scan. So same same plan. I'm gonna scan or same plan, I'm going to go down that fire order and then take him out. So scan again. Okay, I'm going to waz the hellfire. Zoom in. Waz track IR for you guys. So, on the way. Nice. On the way. 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 Then. On the way. I don't think we have the missile sword. All right, which we don't. All right, so now I'm going to the ADU. I'm gonna to go to target. Use target one, coordinate page. 
So now we're going to simulate that we have a gunner. So I'll be the gunner. I'm going to have George go up like 10 feet. Copy. Oh, no, no, don't go forward. Alright, so according to the page, one, a tad selected, I'm gonna waz it. Alright, so we see some uh, smoke, so we definitely know we have rounds on target. Alright, yeah, that was pretty good. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. I probably won't do any more FCR related videos as WAGs did a really amazing job on them. I mainly made this video due to a lack of video guides out there for the FCR. And those that were out there were just kind of... Well, anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.